Hey guys, today we're making this cute miniature grill. If you'd like me to make a video of some accessories like coal, tongs, a spatula, etc., please let me know and I'll make that for the next video. I started out by creating the top and bottom from scrap clay. For the top, I cut and stacked layers of clay to get the thickness I wanted, then used a smaller circle cutter to make a mark, and used my blade to trim the sides to form the dome shape. Add another layer of clay or wrap a strip around the bottom to make a trim. The bottom piece was made using the same technique, but I used three separate pieces for this. When you're done, bake it and use mold putty to make a couple of molds. Then add black clay to the mold, smooth it out and bake. After baking, I painted it with black acrylic paint, but this is optional. I then used my electric file to make some marks for the handle and drill four holes for the vent in the top part. If you don't have an electric file, it's easier to make the hold before baking while the clay is still in the mold. Usually there'd be holes in the bottom as well, but since you won't see that when adding coal on top, I decided not to make them. Then take some metal and cut out two covers for the vents. I just used the metal from a tea light. If you prefer not to cut the holes, you can just paint them on with black paint. For the legs, I decided to use the metal from the reshapable cake pan that I've been using in a bunch of my appliance tutorials. Cut four strips and bend them like shown. You can also use the metal from a can from food, cardstock or something similar. Glue two of the legs to the bottom like this. I then took a small amount of mold putty and made a very flat dome shape. Cut out a circle in the same size from scrap clay, put this on top of the dome shape and bake. For the handle I took a thin strip of metal and sandwiched it between a few layers of clay. Use a tool to make a couple of dents, trim it and bake. After baking, fold the metal and glue it to the lid. Glue the dish in place and attach the two remaining legs. Take a piece of wire and bend it like shown in the video. 
Then glue this to the bottom part together with a small strip of metal. Since this is based off a portable grill, the piece of wire would also act like a handle when carrying it, but since you won't really need that function in miniature, I didn't worry about making it turn. Lastly, I took some more pieces of wire, form a circle that fits inside the bottom part and glue small pieces of wire onto it to make the grid. Then seal with glaze and you're done.